Jojo has fun. Cats are cool. I'm sorry, this is better than Mega Man X right now. Thanks. Hi, everybody. We're back yeah. to playing some more Meg Man. Uh. Ultra Fight and Robot Meg Man. I am going to go fight whom now? I think. Mm. Yeah, he's a special kind of cat, so he does need a bath because people kept commenting, you know, why are you bathing your cat? They lick themselves clean. You're like ruining them or whatever. And he was like, you're ruining your cat. Um, yeah, that cat, the reso people really like cat. God, white women really like to ruin shit on the internet. Like oh. They just like to be like, it, uh, actually. <laughs> no, it starts with um. 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 Actually. Yeah. So like, yeah, guys get a lot of shit for mansplaining, but Jesus Christ, white women are fucking intolerable. <laughs> <laughs> mansplaining is a is a is a huge problem for Were me. Were you gonna explain what mansplaining was for a second? No. Oh God. I wasn't gonna explain what mansplaining was. Yeah. I'd love you if your doctor mansplained your pregnancy. Yeah. That would be. Hilarious. Well, you see what's happening Hilarious here. Hilarious and cool. Is all your body parts are just like fattening up. Yeah, you're uh, you're a big old fatty. You went from a hard seven to like like a solid three. Yeah, I mean. So congratulations. I'm still a level. four from behind. <laughs> but who isn't? <laughs> really? I have like a. I got like a bruise on my side and I can't tell if it's because I like he kicked me or like I bumped into something, but it like really hurts. Really? Is it a big yeah. bruise? Yeah. It doesn't look like a bruise. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. It just really feels like a bruise. It's not, that's awful. Yeah. Oh, then the bruise is on the inside. It might be. You don't want an inside bruise. That's like a cancer. Speaking of which. That's we internal were, bleeding. Earlier, we went and got cake. Yeah, we did. It was the thing we did. And when we were there, Cam regaled us with a story oh of how she saw a kid at her work. Not saw, met. Met a child at her work who had leukemia, and he sa she said, man, he was so cute. And then I waited for a moment because I knew it was coming. And then she said, I hope Pip gets leukemia. <laughs> and I was like, I'm glad I waited. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to say it. Yeah. That you said it. But I have a really good point. <laughs> <laughs> leukemia has one of the highest rates of survival of all childhood cancers. I can't believe you're making the argument that leukemia and is a good beauty to see. This kid was really cute. Oh, God. I mean, he was the most charming kid. And he was really easy to deal with because he's used to being in hospitals where he gets, like, all freaking shot up and stuff. Where at, like, our doctor's office, he gets to look at numbers and letters and pictures because he doesn't know his numbers and letters because he's been in a hospital for most of his life and he hasn't had a chance to go to school. Um... It was so cute. <laughs> he had those beautiful little chemo curls, and his hair was so soft. <laughs> and you know what he said to his mom? What he said to his mom? He said, you know what, Mom? I love you. Aww. And she was like, I love you, too. Like She must have said, I love you, like, 50 times. I feel like when your kid has has leukemia, you love it more. What? Like it's a sick puppy? Yeah, like, you're like, I need to, like, really get this love in. Because, like, it's the most, it's the most survivable of all the cancers, but there's oh, yeah. still a chance that your kid could be the one that doesn't. So, like, you better really give this kid love, right? Yeah. Oh, I mean, also, I just like, because I'm not it's gonna, your kid. I'm not going to love my kid 100% if it doesn't get leukemia. I'm going to be, like, phoning in, like, 80%. So here's, so here's my prediction. A few months from now, when, when this episode comes out, I'm going to send you a link. <laughs> I'm going to have the time code right there. <laughs> And then I want you to film the reaction of you <laughs> crying in horror that you said that nah. <laughs> to me. You say I, that now, you're gonna lose your mind. Everybody you have thinks your baby. that like you're gonna like turn into some like crazy like lovesick person. Like I know I think that this is the person that I am. And like I cried today when I saw that dog that looked like my mom's dog. But I'm not gonna like cry over the fact that I made a joke about my kid having leukemia. You might. I might, but only if I'm a hey, okay. What do we What do we get if you do? Her. Um, what, I, what, what happens then? Let's just let's just let's play out this 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 scenario. Um, I will buy you Dominoes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, you know cool. an entire chain. You'll get your own franchise. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Ooh, ooh, strong, strong cramp. Okay, Pip doesn't like the idea of buying Dominoes. What are you feeling, uh, Pip? Papa Murphy's? Are you that fancy? Yeah, guy? he was totally fine with me joking about him. You having leukemia? Him having leukemia? But he. 
is deeply unhappy. What the fuck? He doesn't like dominoes. It's fine. Yeah, these guys Ugh. are cool. No, he doesn't like dominoes. What? He's not like he's definitely. Oh, he's a Papa Murphy's guy. I mean, for sure. Well, who doesn't like Papa Murphy's? These fucking monsters who it's like a, need their. I'll be completely honest. Up. I've had like, I like Round Table a lot, but I've but never been for the, for the price. What? What? Where? Where would I go? You've never had a <laughs> fucking round table no, pizza? You, no. You've never had a Maui Zowie? Uh, what the fuck? You've never had an all meat Marvel? Well, you know, I just realized that most Guinevere's Garden, yeah, most uh, most round table pizzas and foods sound like fucking. A Maui Zowie? Or, or weed, but really fucking. A Maui Zowie and an all meat Marvel. A Guinevere's Garden? Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, well, anyway, um, really good pizza. Thin crust, quite expensive. Oh, I don't expensive. like thin crust. Oh, it's, do you, you say that, but like Round Table does it right. I don't know. It reminds me of New York, and New Yorkers are not great. Well, if a New Yorker heard you say that Round Table's like New York pizza, they'd be like, what's the matter, you? <laughs> Bobbing. 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 That's, uh, that is an old What's stereotype. the matter, you? Uh... Oh, oh my god! Right. I, You're I gonna had, die. Well, I had Boomer Kawangers thing the one time I came here and like trivialized this. Yeah, could you like? But you're like you have to go through it like the. You're going through it the way that people expect you to go through it now. Well, I actually don't know when you're supposed to fight uh, Sting Chameleon. I actually think you, you're supposed to fight Kawanger first because you get the fuck. But you hate Boomer Kawanger. I hate him. He's the worst. I don't know what he's weak to, and even if I did, I don't know if that would make me like the fight. He's a fucking yeah. Garbage okay, so uh, so fire. if you guys have been watching JoJo has fun, yeah, you will remember that JoJo complains about Boomer Kroanger on uh, episodes that aren't even Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> like he so much I fucking he hate brings him. it up. I'm sure that he's like at work, and they're like JoJo, could you file this? Fucking and he's like, Boomer Kroanger. Boomer <laughs> what the fuck even are you, fucking cockroach? <laughs> also, filing's not my job. Kim just doesn't know what my job is. <laughs> I do something with numbers and people. I, I make lists. <laughs> what are they for? I don't know. <laughs> That's not my department. That's just above my pay grade. That's filing, and what do you do with lists? Oh, my God. You're going to die. You're going to die. Oh, am I? I might. But. Yeah. I can do this shit. Oh, that okay. was really helpful. Oh, Good I fucking, fucking job. I'm stupid. I could just do that. Oh, my God. Could wow, you? That was dumb. Oh, yeah. You fuck. You fuck. Eat a dick. Yes. Yes. God, I remember... Uh, oh, eat every... What was his name? Dicks. Brandon Lee got really upset at me because I would say eat a dick. And he's like, but that's not how you... That's not how you... You it's you don't eat dicks. You suck them. And like, he would get really upset. Well, Kim... You don't eat dicks. You, you're supposed to suck dicks. Like, like I'm just like, like you, a fucking 30-year-old woman who's like, wait, What? He's this whole time I've been dick eating wrong? Kim, he's been he was mansplaining dick sucking. I, yeah, he was a straight super man was. mansplaining dick sucking. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a man to know what a man wants. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> Who mansplains that? Yeah. Please don't mansplain to me how, what I'm supposed to do with dicks. I'll do what I Look, the, feel. the fact that you're the fact that you've shown up on time is enough. <laughs> <laughs> Like dick sucking is one of those jobs where if you get there, yeah, if you, even close to when you're supposed to clock in, God bless. Oh you. my God! One of my coworkers actually was like seriously scarred because this guy that she was dating would get really really drunk and then make fun of um, her her like inability to give a good blowjob. What? Yeah, what she would make he would make fun of her. I was like, that is abuse. <laughs> that is the most fucked up thing I've yeah, heard. Yeah, that is a guy who never wants to ever get a blowjob ever again. She, yeah. <laughs> and you know what? He didn't. That, that it actually sounds like something. Oh, that sounds like someone who doesn't want ice cream ever again. Doesn't yeah. It? I does, think yeah. it does. Yeah, and he didn't get a blowjob ever again. Wow. Their relationship ended. Not because of that, because he was an alcoholic and he was hiding it from her. Ah. Um, and then this is the one where the, the mom called her and was like, I just think we're going to have to put him in rehab again. And she was like, wait, what? What do you mean, like, do you mean <laughs> like, again? What was, that? Go, what was that last word you just said? Also, what rich fuck goes to rehab when they're fucking 27 years old again? Yeah, rehab means 
Rehab means that you have enough means in order to get more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you need to hit rock bottom and have that's, your family abandon you. That's not true. Ah! We're can I get some water? Fuck! That laser was coming right for me. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Damn it. What's great is yeah. when I get Braxton Hicks contractions during my maternity uh, episodes. Because it's like, remember that time that I was fucking miserable for almost a year because of this dumbass baby? I do, Kim. Yeah. It's called JoJo Has Fun. JoJo Had Se Fun. Season, season one. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're season. This is season. This is like the mid season. Yeah, I've been doing it for, uh, yeah, for a while. Yeah, mid season break here. I'll be completely honest. It's been, uh, it's been a long time. It's been, yeah. I can't believe one of my coworkers today was like, so wait, you do this every weekend? And I was like, yeah, I do it every weekend. She's like, that's like a huge commitment. And I wanted to be like, I have to come to work every day. Yeah. Once a week, I get to hang out with my friends, play video games and have pizza. Yeah. Fuck you for thinking it's a commitment. Yeah. It's the only thing making this baby worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually, I'm a little bit concerned that I'm going to have the first baby on record that gets fetal alcohol system from old Milwaukee non-alcoholic. <laughs> That's really, that's the thing that I worry about. Like, I, if he gets leukemia, like, I'm not going to feel bad about that. Right. That shit happens. Yeah. But, like, I will feel bad if he gets fetal alcohol system after I got did a, you, didn't your Did you talk to your OB about that? Yeah. They're like, dude, go for it. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Because there's no way to make it completely non-alcoholic. Well, they do have completely non-alcoholic beer. Really? Yeah, they do. It's gross. Um, According to the FDA or what? Because no. I, I didn't know you... Because you can cook alcohol. You can cook with alcohol and not take all yeah, the alcohol they, out of it. I think it's just... No, it's a, it's a beverage that's not made by n making alcohol. Like, there's no oh. alcohol made in the beverage. It's oh, a, okay. It's a halal or whatever thing. Yeah, exactly. Every drink that's not alcoholic or that's not alcohol is not alcoholic. But they have, they do have this um, Lebanese beer, if you want to call it that, that is a hundred percent no alcohol. No way. Yeah. Well, like root beer is a hundred percent no alcohol. It doesn't taste like beer, but, it's a but it has the word beer in it. Yes. But it's brewed. It's brewed, and that's why it's root beer. Like oh, okay. Ginger beer, root beer. So beer is just any any beverage that is brewed. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I tea learned, beer. I learned to think. <laughs> Guys. Kombucha. Or actually, kombucha has alcohol. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, and kombucha? Also, I'm allowed to eat kombucha, which I'm just like, dude, if I can eat kombucha and my kid's not going to get fetal alcohol syndrome and you're totally fine with that, then let me have my goddamn old Milwaukee, you fascists. Kim, it's not fascism. It's <laughs> babies dying. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's a, trying to make a, a baby who's... There's there's a there's a like a slight difference, but it is there. <laughs> you know what's interesting about uh, my family heritage? Go on. Is when you have, like, so my so if if so guys go online look at a picture of me. I've got very little chin. Not like, a drop. Almost no chin. It's it's a fact. Um, also, babies who have fetal alcohol syndrome. Have almost no chin. Are you saying that you think you're a fetal alcohol baby? I think that everyone in my family is a fetal alcohol baby. So Pip's going to come out with this like superhero chin. And you're going to be like, ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> She's going to be like, <laughs> that doesn't look anything like me. Um, no, because Mike has a chin. So he might have a chin. Pip has a chance. <laughs> yeah. If if I'm really hoping that like, you know how like sometimes a baby's born and it looks nothing like the father? Yes. I'm really hoping that Pip looks nothing like me. And like 100% Mike. Well. Oh my God, nice wait. have dreams, Kim. Did I tell you guys about when I was so... I, I We had health class. Well, we talked about health class. Kim, do you want to tell okay, the story tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Okay, I'll tell you about see health you guys, class tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, my brother sent a photo. Oh, five photos. Ooh, Dana looks like shit. <laughs> 